Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke episode 22, I believe we are in. Guys, I have, I'm going to break the fourth wall right here and let you guys know that uh, it is 4.51 a.m. when I'm recording this. So let me tell you, let me explain what happened, why I am awake at 4.51 a.m. and recording a video at that. Uh, so here's, here's the rundown. Okay, so... Uh, ever since uh, the quarantine, I was uh, I found the I found out the word. It's called furloughed. I was furloughed, furloughed or furloughed from my job, which basically means I was laid off. And I was supposed to return to work on April twentieth. Yeah, April twentieth, a Monday. I was supposed to return to work on April twentieth, a Monday. So I have to battle you, huh? Uh, on April what? Uh, April seventeenth, which was that Friday. I texted my manager, and I said, hey. Uh, am I still good to return to work on Monday or what's up? Because I know that we're still like, the world's still kind of crazy right now. I'm going to be blinking hardcore, dude. And my blinks are going to be, ooh, they're going to be rough, but that's okay. So, um, I got a text back that said, hey, I just talked to the manager. We're going to have to extend it until now May 8th, which is actually a Friday because I just went for a electric type on a grass. Uh, hopefully this will paralyze at least. Hey, there we go. So, uh, yeah, so they, they moved it. Sunny day, that's weird. They moved it to May 8th, which is a Friday, because, oddly enough, my work week payday is actually, instead of, like, you get paid starting on, like, Sundays, and then Saturday night it ends, like most jobs, uh, mine is the pay starts Fridays. So, the, when they originally told me I was going to start work on May, or April uh, 20th, which was a Monday, they actually, like, messed that up. They should have started it on a Friday. But that is neither here nor there. So now I am supposed to be getting back to work on May 8th, hopefully. Because, actually, you know, I'm not even going to go into all of it. Just, just know that I actually need to get back to work. So besides that, though, besides that, um, my wife, as I've said it many a times, but if this is your first time watching a video of mine, uh, she is a nurse and she is currently on the night shift schedule. So during this time where we're like, I'm not even working. I told her instead of like, instead of her on her days off, what she would do is she would switch from night shift to day shift sleep schedule, which is really hard to do doing it back and forth all the time. And I was telling her, I said, well, if I don't even have a job, instead of you keep switching back to day shift, it's not like we can go visit family or friends anyway. I said, I will just switch my night schedule to night shift. That way she can just stay on night shift, whether she's working or not. And that's helped her a ton. Uh, so the, so with that, I've been going to bed at 3 a.m. every night, and then, oh crap, it's dark in here. Do I need flash? It's not that dark. Uh, she's been going to bed at 3 a.m. every night, or I've been going to bed at 3 a.m., um, and then whenever she's home, and she's not working, I go to bed, we both go to bed at like 4 a.m. So, I have no idea, what I'm, should I be doing this? Crap, hold on. I don't think I want to go all the way down anymore. Wait. No, I think I might have messed up. I feel like I definitely messed up. But let's just see. Yeah, this doesn't feel right. Hold on. What is this? Use another yes. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? There's a lip here. Yeah, no. Wait, where do I even want to end up? I definitely messed this up. I have to restart. Um, but so on the day she works, she works, um, and then she gets off work at six thirty a.m. is when she's scheduled. But she usually works overtime. But I've been driving her to and from work, so I go and pick her up at six a.m. And so I was just about to go to bed. I thought it was three a.m. I usually go to bed at three a.m. Wake up at like six a.m. to go get her, and then that did not work out. I looked at the time; it was already four. So I was like, screw this, I'm just going to make myself some breakfast, drink a G Fuel, and record a video. So, hold on. I want to do this. Move that guy over there, this guy over here. Right? I guess that was way easier. Why did I, like, struggle with that at all? Why did I struggle with that, like, literally at all? I guess it's because I was telling you guys a story. This is recording, right? Mic, mic's on recording? Yeah. 
What are what are these guys here for? Oh, that's just to get that item. I'm not gonna do that just to get an item. Okay, let's see here. Anything? Oh crap! I was didn't know if there was more stuff. I'm dumb. I guess. Oh, that's another thing. If I get an encounter in here, I can capture it. I don't have an encounter in Victory Road. I don't know if I want an encounter. Dang it! Well, I can't, I want to wait until like later on in the cave, so it's a higher level, hopefully. I guess is what I want to do. Why are there so many people here? Tim, why did it, I just heard like eight Pokeballs? What the heck? But yeah, so I, I'm I'm like kind of tired, but at the same time I'm awake because I just drank a G Fuel. Um, I semi regret it. So obviously, like going to bed at three a.m. and then waking up between six and six thirty, and then coming home and going back to bed. Obviously, that's not the best because, you know. But what I do is, like, when I get back home and go back to bed, then I can wake up at noon, and then I'm ready for my day. And then uh, Taylor will sleep until 4.30, like, so she can wake up, get ready for work, and she'll get a nice full eight hours of sleep. This son of a gun. I'm gonna, I gotta heal myself just in case. I'm not gonna take a chance here. So, the problem now with what I did is now, I'm gonna use the super potion. Now what I did is, since I'm awake, now when she comes home and goes to bed at 8 a.m., and I go to bed at 8 a.m., after, like, I make her breakfast and everything, I'm not going to be able to, like, go to bed at 8, 8 a.m. and wake up at noon and just be okay, like I normally am. So, yeah, I, I, I might have... Oh, my goodness, dude. I might have really really screwed up to be 100% honest so that's life though you know it is what it is we'll, we'll be fine I mean I'll be fine she's obviously fine what I'm what I'll probably just do if I'm gonna be 100% honest is I'll probably like I'm gonna record this let's see here it's five o'clock now I'll record this I'll play some animal crossing until it's time to go get her and then I will I w there's one of two things I can do, actually. I just thought of another thing I could do. So, one of two things I could do is I will either... Dude, please don't confuse me. Don't hit yourself confused. Thank you. Um, either I'll just sleep on the couch. Because here's the thing. The worst part of all this is we have Edgar, who sleeps in the bed with us. And he is the reason why... Like, he's just always moving. And then I'm always moving. Oh, Registeel. I definitely want to stay in, though, because I have Blaze Kick, right? Or do I want to move steel types? I can do margarine just uh No, as I'd have to heal. What do I do here? I can... mm, I'm just gonna stay in with fries. I don't know idea what this red steel could do to me. I'm pretty sure it has like explosion or something though, which sucks. Um so yeah, my options are because I don't want to, like, stay in the bed with her the whole time. Because I toss her around. She's a super light uh, sleeper. And Edgar also is, like, moving. Because he doesn't care what time it is. When he wants to get up, he wants to get up. So hopefully right now, like, he's awake right now playing with a toy. And hopefully he'll stay that way. So he'll actually be tired later. Um, So option one is either just sleep on the couch. Which is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Just sleep on the couch. That way, I mean, I can just sleep for between uh, 8 a.m. to 4. Which is 8 hours. And then I'll wake up right when she's waking up. I'll make dinner or whatever. And then, obviously, I'm not going to be able to sleep straight through that because Edgar's going to wake me up. Or, option two is to sleep in the bed until... Dude. Come on, bro. Sleep in the bed until uh, Edgar does wake us up. And then I can move to the couch from there. Or I could just actually stay awake and then take a nap later in the day. So, I don't know. We'll see. Please don't hit myself in confusion. Thank you, dude. This has to knock out. I know Blaze Kick is weak. No, that does nothing. What is amnesia? What are you doing? You're raising your special defense? Oh, I'm fine on special defense. I just feel like this thing kind of wants to explode. Because doesn't this thing know an explosion or something like that? I can just use a regular super potion. This thing like knows some kind of explosion move, right? Or self-destruct? Something crazy, right? Iron head. Okay. I don't mind an iron head. I just really hope I'm not confused anymore. I literally, like, can't... Oh, I'm still... I forgot I had color change. Son of a gun, dude. Now I'm gonna... My blaze kick isn't even stab anymore. Oh, can't I do earthquake? Isn't this thing a steel type? 
Why, why did I go for Blaze Kick? Don't. Dude! This cannot be for real. Literally, why have I hit myself with confusion so many times? Does this thing have a life orb that I'm just not realizing? What are you doing with a life orb? Whatever, dude. Use Iron Head this time and knock yourself out. Why do you have a life orb? And why do I have to hit myself with confusion a hundred times in a row? This thing didn't even go for a self-destruct or explosion or anything like that. That's good. It's still alive. Dude, literally, if I hit myself with confusion right now, I might cry. Thank you. Snapped out of confusion. Finally. Jeez, dude. That was a long battle because of confusions. But yeah, that's, that's how my day going. That's, that's why I'm recording at... Um, now 5 a.m. It is now 5 a.m. I am awake recording a video at 5 a.m. I wish I could say I was a productive member of society and I actually woke up at 5 a.m. to record a video. But that's not, that just would not be true if I said that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I definitely need... Definitely kind of can't wait for the... One thing I can say, yeah, when the quarantine ends, getting my sleep schedule back to normal is going to be nice. Another thing... Taylor's supposed to be, well, she's on a, she's on a list to be moved to day shift. Now, the problem is we don't, we have no idea. That could be any time between, like, right now, she could come, she could come home and say I'm on day shift, or, which isn't the case, because she would have obviously told me, she would have texted me by now. So, but, or it could be any time, like, starting tomorrow, or forever from now, we have no idea, but she's on the list. And that's, that's a big first step, is to be on the list, so... What does mind reader do? Which would be nice. Took aim at me, huh? So it's gonna be nice for her because for me, like when when my work starts again. Wait, is he a ground type? I thought he was just a bug type. Huh? Imagine if I had Zane right now. Yikes, dude! Right? Uh, but yeah, when I get back to work, I have to switch back to my day shift again, which sucks for you know me and Taylor hanging out, but. It just, that's just how we got to do it. Okay, that didn't do that much. I didn't think it was, but I wasn't sure. So, hopefully, hopefully she'll move to day shift soon. I can then, obviously, be on day shift again. We ordered an exercise bike. By we, I mean me. I need, dude, I haven't been to the gym since the quarantine because our gym here is closed, just like every other gym. And I was on an insanely good, uh... Weight loss, like, since the beginning of the year. Weight loss, like, um... I'm gonna hit this. Oh, I guess not. I was, a good, I was good on a weight loss, like... The amount of pounds I was losing per week was, like, healthy. I was losing a lot of pounds in a lot of weeks. I mean, I was doing really good. And I've gained a, not a lot of it back, but I've definitely been gaining weight back. It's just hard to, uh, hard to lose weight when all you can do is go outside and run. Because who wants to do that? I Dude, I literally have no idea where I'm going. I'm just... Running around aimlessly right now. Like, should I be going down this way? I feel like I should not have even went down at all. I feel like I probably would just went the wrong way entirely. I should be going up, right? I have no idea what I'm doing. Literally no idea. I just want to get out of this cave. Hello, Marjorie. I know worst case scenario is we have an escape rope, which is nice. I should put, um, I need to put Ugly Mug in the lead. Because we have Dragon Breath on Ugly Mug. And we can Mega Evolve. Cursed Body. What the heck? Oh my goodness, and now you're eating a berry? Are you kidding me? What is this Slow King? Confused? Dude, this, the amount of animations that just happened on the Slow King is absolutely insane. Literally. So much animation you just did for nothing. Like, nothing happened. That was the most insane... What the heck? Okay, there we go. Got the knockout. Got the knockout. Got the... Got the knockout. Here we go. Level 50? Marjorie, you're ready for the Elite Four, aren't you? He's like, yeah, man, I'm ready. I'm level 50. That's all I need is to be level 50, sucka. Oh, uh, Watt Melberry. Thanks for the Watt Melberry. All right, dude, it is dark down here, and I don't like it. But thankfully, in this game, they made it so it's not, like, actually pitch black. Oh, I don't care. I'm not going to battle you just for an item. Dang it, do I have to battle? Oh, I don't have to battle you. Oh, my goodness, I'm just dodging this guy. Superman-looking dude. You're... I'm out. 
I'm out of here. I am out of here. Did I have to even do any of that? I don't know. Find out right now. Okay, going up. I'm feeling good about where I'm at right now. Um, okay. So I have to do a double battle. Let's do, let's see who's in the front here. Fries and margarine. We can do that. We can do fries and margarine in the front here for a double battle. Oh my goodness, dude. I am tired even though I just drink a G Fuel. Krabby and Infernape. Oh, Infernape. I would do anything for you to be on my team. I would literally do anything for you to be on my team right now. Okay, uh, yeah, we can just dish- Oh, that discharge hits everyone. That's right. Let's Volt Switch. I don't want to hit my, uh, fries. And then we can just- Oh, Earthquake definitely be a bad call, actually. Do we just Mega Evolve? Rock some- Wow. What do I do against an- Guess I just- Guess I just, uh, Blaze Kick. I mean- can just blaze click the Infernape. You know, honestly, I probably should have just swapped out, actually, because they have a Krabby on the field, and my Blaziken can't do much here. Because if I Earthquake, I'll just knock out my own margin. Okay, so is that close combat? Yes, it is, and it hurt a lot. Krabby, dude, please leave my Blaziken alone. Oh, crap, dude. I just, I might have messed up here. Okay, that actually did damage. Volt Switch, please hurt the Krabby. Oh, yes, okay. Woo! All right, that was I almost really screwed up. Holy crap. I almost really screwed up with that Oh, uh, let's see. Let's get something that can knock out this in front of because I got to switch Fries out because fries is about to get Hurt by this fast in front of boy You want to learn swagger? No, thank you. We don't have time for you to learn swagger right now You can learn swagger another day. Maybe he's not gonna learn swagger guys Uh, what can I do just going with ugly mug? And that can swap fries out for who? I don't know. Let's Dragon Breath here, Infernape. And then we'll swap out you for Margarine. Completely healthy Margarine. That way this Infernape does not take out my fries. I do not need that happening right now. He's close combat. Yeah, who he would have knocked out. He would have knocked out fries for sure. He would have knocked out fries for sure. Okay, so Dragon Breath is definitely going to knock out... This Infernape, and bada bing bada boom, we are just moving on up. Are we almost out of here? I don't have no idea. I don't have any idea at all. Flag, we're to level 47. Good job, Flag. Okay. Can we... Um, yes. Use another repel. I just want to get out of the cave, go heal up. I can come back and get an encounter. I think it's going to be the play. What the heck? What the heck? Is this like... Just some kind of cool stuff now? Like, hey, you did it. Here's some cool artwork we did. Oh, no. I have to fight him. I remember that. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone calm down. Let's get healed up. You need a... Regular potion. You need a hyper potion. We'll put ugly mug in the front. Mega evolve on this boy. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get some potions going. Let's get a regular potion on ugly mug real quick. Let's just do another one. Might as well. And then let's do hyper potion on blaze real quick. Okay. And then we'll do a. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Good thing. I, the good thing that didn't work. And then we'll do a super. And then a. Get rid of these regular potions, which I have 10 more of. So might as well use one on Flag. I don't even remember Flag ever even going in. I just want to get rid of these. There we go. Full health on everyone now. All right. Freaking, what's your name? Wally? Dude, I was one step away from triggering this. Whew. That would have been bad to the bone. I bet you must be surprised to see me in a place like this. That problem that we made back then. Thanks for keeping it in. It was really thanks to you that I could make it this far. D. That's time to battle. It was only because of you I lost. I lost you back that I could become even stronger. I'm sure that you and your Pokemon must have had to overcome a lot too to make it all the way here, right? Everyone's grown so much, and now we finally get to see what all I can do. Standing here facing you again gives me chills. 
Well, you're going to get a lot of chills when I make all your Pokemon faint. <laughs> Alright, mister. I'm not going to play nice. Oh, you got a Mega thing too, huh? You got a Mega Boy, huh? A Gliscor? I don't know what typing a Gliscor is. Not... Is Glis I got to check to make sure... Gliscor is not a... A dark type. To hurt me. It is a ground flying type, which is honestly the weirdest typing I've ever heard of in my entire life. Uh, do, can we just Dragon Breath, I guess? I don't know if I should Dragon Breath or Luster, is all. Luster Purge, okay. Let's see here. We're only level 47. I didn't even check to see his level. Crap. What level is he? Dragon Breath Paralyze or not? Oh, he's 46. Okay, Paralyze or... He's not gonna knock out Paralyze? No, X Scissor. It's a bug type, right? So that's not stab. Oh, that's a bug type, though. And I'm a psychic type. <laughs> Let's see what Lesser Perch can do. Lesser Perch should do good, right? It's got, like, high, high power. There we... No. Special Defense fell. He's gonna use Screech. Thank you for not using X Scissor there. Again, Screech though sucks because you're lowering my defense. Harshly, whoa, be careful. All right, let's get rid of this Gliscor real quick. Okay, Gliscor's out of here. Who's next? Ooh, there we go. Let's get let's get ugly Magda level fifty. Prince, keep you keep leveling up, Prince. Swinub. Swinub. Isn't Swinub like an ice type? So I probably wanna. One of the fries. What is Swinub? Am I even getting this right? This Pokemon right? Swinub. Yeah, I did have the right. Yeah, you're an ice type, right? You're not a ground type yet. I mean, I can just blaze kick you. I can't. I was correct. I can't just blaze kick you. Is, is ground super effective on ice or is ice super effective on ground? I feel like ice is super effective on ground. It's a Losis. Losis is a psychic type. And I am a fighting type. So let's do... Let's put Ugly Mug back in there. Let's get Ugly Mug back on the field. Hit him with another... Oh, I'm still Mega Evolved? Oh, snap. Dude, I thought I lost my Mega Evolve when I swapped. Nice. Oh, Paralyzed, too. Very nice. Get full parried here. I don't need to take any hits. Heal block? What is that? Prevented from healing? Huh. wonder if that, like, prevents potion usage or if it only prevents me from using Recover, which I never even use. I always just use potions, which is silly because I have Recover. Okay, let's see. Chandelure is a ghost fire type. Oh, wait, is ghost super effective on psychic or is psychic super effective on ghost? I feel like psychic is super effective on ghost. Right? Uh oh. Am I about to die here? Because ghost is actually super effective on. Oh my goodness, I lived. Now, here's the thing I kind of just want to go for another hit. Because I lived. I and I go first. We're going for another hit. Oh, this might be a risky play, but I think we're good. We did over half. My heart's... Okay, I don't know if I should have done that. I just didn't want to get stuck healing over and over again, and I can't even use Recover because of that. Salamence. Okay. Uh, let's go into Yopal, right? Because you're... Is Salamence your dragon type, right? Yopal hasn't hasn't had much hasn't had much love. I mean, was our starter Pokemon, and hasn't been received much love. Oh, Sandstream, what the heck? What are you using Sandstream for, dude? If he Mega evolves the Salamence, that would give me the big sad. Wow, he is doing he is doing that. He is Mega evolving it. Wow, dude. I'm terrified. Zen headbutt. I'm scared. What is that going to do to me? Oh my goodness. I should have went for Draining Kiss. 
I had no idea the damage he was going to do. Oh, it doesn't knock him out either. Oh, yes. He gets buffeted by the Sandstorm too. Okay, so I can just Super Potion. Perfect. Okay, I'll Super Potion. You'll get buffeted by the Sandstorm. Bada bing, bada boom. The rest is history. Bada bing, bada boom. The rest is history. Good job, Yopal. Zen Headbutt. It's going to hurt. Please don't crit me, actually. Now I think about it. All right, we are good, and you're going to lose to the Sandstorm. All right. Whew, that was definitely scary. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Jeez, Louise, that scared me. I didn't. Okay. Yopal grew to level 50. Good job, Yopal. Mar Wait. Marjorie wants to learn what? Signal Beam. What is Signal Beam? It's a bug type? Probably not. The user attacks the Sinister Beam. Uh, no. No signal beam. We're going to keep... Well, what, what is Power Gym? Yeah, Power Gym is 80. We're going to get rid of signal beam. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No signal beam, though. Prince Scooter level 29. Good job, Prince. You keep doing you. Wally, please heal my Pokemon. I don't want to waste all my potions. Although, I feel like I'm going to be up to a Pokemon Center here soon. Arg. Oh, you're angry. You lost. Ha. Do you and your Pokemon too? Thank you for not holding back when you battled against us. For not holding back when you beat us. And Gallade, everyone, thank you so much. I've sh I felt I feel like I've been able to take another step forward thanks to you. Oh, I'll give you this to keep. I hope it always reminds you of our battle with me, Gallade, and the rest of my team. Well, Gallade was an ugly looking Salamence. Not even that ugly, actually. But it was it looked like a Salamence, not like a Gallade. A Dawnstorm Dawnstone. What if uh, that Dawnstone is going to help me in any way? All right, mister. You should stop talking to me. Am I able to go heal right now and then I can come back? What I probably need to do... What I probably need to do is heal up, come back here, get my encounter, and then maybe even do like uh, some off-cam off -cam grinding? Because I feel like their levels are going to be in the 60s, right? I feel like I should do that. Do I need to make it into like a mo like a grinding massage too? Mewtwo night, dude. If I would have had the Mewtwo, and I just got that, I'd poop my pants. Uh, no more repellents. So let's go ahead. We're gonna heal up. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Mart. Well, you you have red stuff. I guess this one makes more sense. Hello. All right, thank you. Heal up my Pokemon. We're gonna go back in. Let's see, we're almost, this episode's almost done. Uh, we might be able to, like, make it make it real quick to get an encounter. I think we can probably do it. We just run like the wind. Do that Mewtwo Knight. Mewtwo and I, why? Isn't, I think Mewtwo X is the better, uh, the better Mega, but it doesn't matter. It's still, it still would have been a Mega Evolved Mewtwo, which, kind of snasty. Kind of snap. What the heck? All right, let's go ahead and get an encounter. Victory Road encounter. Can you encounter anything in these grass? Are these flowers? No. Hello, Wally. Goodbye, Wally. Look at me. I'm just going back. All right. I gotta go through all this. Jeez, I'm running out of time here. All I need is an encounter, please. Back over this bridge. I mean, I get that they're just trying to show you how nice their game looks. And it does look nice. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not here for that. All right, let's get an encounter. What's going to be on our encounter? Maybe a Mewtwo? That would be nice. What are we going to get? Three, two, one. Hmm, Rampados. Honestly? Oh, it's only level 39. Never mind. I didn't, I'm not even going to waste my... That's, look at this. 39 in Victory Road? Why are you only level 39 in Victory Road? I'm just going to get one more encounter just to see what else I could have gotten. 39, though, in Victory Road? Are you kidding me? Why are you only level 39, Rampardos? Why? Could have got a, a Drifloon. Oh, man, a Drifbloom. Drif, Drifbloom? Would have been nice, actually. Ghost Flying type? Actually, would have been nice. I got to get out of here. I almost battled that thing when I know it's super effective on me. But, all right. That is going to do it for today's episode, the 5 a.m. recorded episode. Uh, let's see, your next episode, we are going to be, we're going to be taking on the Elite Four. 
I don't know. Is it? Can you like beat him in one episode? Probably can. Here's the thing: what I don't know. I'm gonna have to look, figure it out. Because I know you gotta beat the Elite Four, and then you gotta beat Wally again. And I think that's where you that's where you typically cut off a Nuzlocke. Because I know there's like after story for every Pokemon game, but I think in a typical Nuzlocke you don't do that stuff. Normally you're just trying to beat the game. Technically beating Wally's beating the game. I don't know, but that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm gonna save one more time just in case. Thank you guys for stopping by today's video. <laughs> Uh, we are doing pretty good on our subscriber count. We've been growing steadily. So if you guys are subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.